Hey friends, Bob with Kaler's Reptiles and Aquatics, and I was going to show you something just coming in for this evening and turning on uh, lights, heat lamps, and lights for me to be able to see by and the snakes to be able to see by. And I discovered this gorgeous lady is in a shed, but a very rough, dry shed. So have not been keeping the humidity where it should be in there, obviously. That's the major contributing thing. But I'm going to be taking her out and putting her in a tub to soak. And you guys know I haven't handled this blood python much, but she's trying to soak in her water bowl. Well, bless her heart. I came in and saw the bow was moved from this area back here. And she's got her upper body on her heat mat there which is under the tank, of course. And then she's got the middle of her body trying to soak it, but I've got a big tub um, that I'm gonna put her in and let her soak for maybe an hour, maybe not that long, but in some warm water, just enough to barely cover her, bless her. So I'll get her straightened out. Most of that will wipe right off. Some of it will peel off now, but it can feel kind of icky to them. So she would enjoy a soak. And that's what she's trying to do there. She spilled her water too, because all the water is out of the bowl. I had filled it last night. There's a big piece of skin there, a big shed. That's, that's awful. So I've got to come up with some ideas to keep her humidity a little higher than it's been being. Part of it's the weather changing and acclimating this room, keeping the temperature where it should be and that kind of stuff. And she's actually in a, a 30 breeder tank, uh, which is just barely big enough for her at this size, but um, I need to go ahead and close off some of this with electrical tape or plastic or, or something. Um, so that I can control the humidity in there a little better. Hey girl, she's a sweetheart, bless her. She can't see well cause that's over her eyes, but it'll be coming off. Bless her, bless her. She's a sweetie. Yeah, she hasn't eaten in a couple of weeks either. So I know she'll feel better to get this off. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous underneath, but got to get this humidity up so this new skin the new scales she's got the shed off of this side so she can see fine out of that eye oh bless her sometimes she she pretty much thinks that when i open the top of this that she's going to eat not always but see how she's tightened up and part of it's because she can't see well. And she's really super good at striking sideways. So let me see here. Yep, there she comes. There she comes. She said, Bob, don't pull that off of me. See, she can't really see out of that eye well. And she may be ready to eat. She might think I'm about to feed her, which I think I will and then soak her. No, soak her and then feed her. Anyway, rambling on and on. That's the blood python, Malaysian blood python, and I gotta give her a soak. Yeah, with her reacting like that. Maybe I should feed her first. Look at her rubbing her eye, bless her.